It is said that to expand your knowledge of the world the best thing you can do is to travel. Throughout history, there have been many explorers who have embarked on journeys to the most remote areas of the globe to explore the unknown. The discoveries made by some of them remained for eternity, rediscovering the earth and transforming it forever. In fact, these geographical discoveries are part of the so-called Age of Great Explorations. In the following we will tell you which were the most famous explorers that mankind gave and what were the discoveries for which their names remained written in golden letters. 10 Greatest Explorers in History and Their Discoveries That Changed the World Marco Polo 1254-1324 Illustrious Venetian merchant, Marco Polo embarked in 1271 on a journey to Asia with his father and uncle. He traveled through Persia, Afghanistan, Mongolia and China, the route he followed being known as the Silk Road. He remained in China for 17 years, where he served as governor of Yangzhou. Later, the Mongol ruler Kublai Khan of the Yuan dynasty appointed him an official of the Privy Council. He left China around 1292. On his return home he was imprisoned during the war between the Mediterranean trading powers, Genoa and Venice. In prison, he dictated stories of his travels to one of his unfortunate neighbors, a certain Rusticello of Pisa. The latter gathered the accounts of Marco Polo in the book, Description of the World Dictated by Marco, which appeared in 1298. Vasco da Gama (1460–1524) was the first explorer to connect Europe to Asia by sea routes. On the 8th of July 1497, the Portuguese explorer set out from Lisbon at the head of a fleet of four ships. Together with Vasco da Gama, three interpreters, two speakers of Arabic and one who spoke several Bantu dialects, embarked on this journey. His fleet crossed the Atlantic and Indian Oceans to reach the east. This has led to several sea voyages from all over Europe. He was the first European to sail over the Cape of Good Hope. Christopher Columbus 1451-1506, Genoese navigator in the service of Spain, Christopher Columbus wanted to restore the route of Vasco da Gama and discover the Indies. He set out to sail west to find a better sea route to the eastern country, hoping to make a detour to the world. On 3 August 1492 he lifted anchor and sailed across the Atlantic Ocean in hopes of finding a new path to the Indies but, he would disembark in the Bahamas. Since then, Columbus has made four trips to western land and established trade links between Europe and America. Christopher Columbus apparently died of severe arthritis following an infection on 20 May 1506, convinced that he had discovered the legendary road to the eastern coast of India. Amerigo Vespucci 1454-1512 The Florentine explorer explored most parts of the east coast of South America and realized that this continent was neither connected to Asia nor as small as it was thought at the time. He launched several expeditions from Spain and Portugal and discovered the Amazon. On his last expedition he discovered Rio de Janeiro and the present-day Rio de la Plata. Believing that he had discovered a new continent, he called South America the New World. The Americas were named after him because he was the first to come to the conclusion that the mass of land he was exploring was not Asia. He died of malaria in Seville on the 22nd of February 1512. John Cabot 1450-1499, by his real name Zuan Shiboto, Cabot was a Venetian explorer and navigator. He engaged in the service of King Henry VII and played a pivotal role in the discovery and colonization of the Americas. He became known for his 1497 expedition to North America, where he discovered the Canadian area, known today as Newfoundland or Maine. Some historians claim that it reached the island of Cape Breton or the continent of New Scotland. It is believed that John Cabot died in 1499 or in 1500, but his last days remain a mystery today. In February 1498 he left Bristol, England with five ships to North America. On the way, one ship cranked it up to Ireland, and the other four continued on their way. From that point on, it is no longer known what happened to Cabot. Ferdinand Magellan 1480-1521 in the service of Spain, the Portuguese explorer is the one to whose name the first trip around the world is linked. He is also the one who has found sea routes to help others bypass the planet. Magellan was also the first navigator to make his way through North America and South America and reach the Pacific Ocean. The waterway he found is called the Right of Magellan. In March 1521, Magellan's crew disembarked on the island of Homenhan in the Philippines. Magellan, however, did not get to finish his expedition because he was killed in a battle on Mactan Island.
Part of his crew managed to return to Spain, successfully completing his first trip around the world. Hernán Cortés (1485–1547), the Spanish conquistador, became famous for overthrowing King Montezuma and conquering the Aztec Empire. He won Mexico for the crown of Spain and built Mexico City over the ruins of the Aztec capital. In the bloody battles against the Aztecs, it is estimated that Hernán Cortés and his men killed up to 100,000 indigenous people. King Charles I of Spain, also known as Emperor Charles V of St. Roman, appointed him governor of New England in 1522. Cortés first set off for the New World when he was 19 years old. He later joined an expedition to Cuba, and in 1518, set out to explore Mexico. Sir Francis Drake (1540–1596), a close friend of Queen Elizabeth I of England, Admiral Sir Francis Drake was a slave trader, a corsair, and an influential politician of the time. Drake has his place in history, being the second man after Magellan who went around the world 1577–1580. After the successful completion of the voyage, Drake was knighted by the Queen. Eight years later, in 1588, the British wrote a glorious new page in the history of his country, managing to defeat the invincible Spanish Armada. He died in 1596 due to dysentery during the siege of the Iberian port of San Juan in Puerto Rico. James Cook (1728–1779). Captain Cook served as an apprentice and later joined the British Navy. At the age of 29, he was promoted to commander of a ship captured for the Royal Navy during the Seven Years' War (1756–1763). He is the man who mapped Newfoundland, Eastern Canada, and the one who led the three expeditions to the Pacific in 1770. He then discovered Australia, bypassed New Zealand and Hawaii, and traveled thousands of miles doing so. No other explorer has traveled as much as Cook. He traveled to all seven continents, crossed both poles, and sailed all the oceans with HMS Endeavour, the space shuttle of the same name. Charles Darwin (1809–1882), the English naturalist whose scientific theory of evolution through natural selection has become the basis of modern evolutionary studies, left when he was 22 years old on a journey to explore the east coast of South America. The young Darwin crossed the Atlantic and Indian Oceans for and explored New Zealand, parts of Australia where he studied plants plants and animals. Darwin traveled around the world for five years, gathering a huge amount of information about the flora and fauna of the planet. This would be the key to developing the theory of the evolution of living organisms. At the end of this journey, the scientist locked himself in at his home in Kent to quietly study the material collected and draw the right conclusions. If this material has piqued your interest, I invite you to like and subscribe to this channel. All the best.